right, what's your name and occupation? My name is Emil Last, and I'm a television engineer. All right. Um, so what's a normal day like for you during the pandemic? Um, a normal day lately has been uh, getting up and organizing webinars, meetings, broadcasts, and beginning to plan, at this point, a return back to the office, which involves figuring out a hybrid version, probably similar to the thoughts of hybrid in the situation that you have in school, but for us at work, it is trying to figure out how we continue to have meetings that used to be all people gathered in a room and now to have some of those people not in the room, not in the same room, and in some instances, some people at home and engaging from places all over the United States in a single meeting that would have otherwise been just a bunch of people in a room. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what are some challenges that you face on a day-to-day -day basis that you didn't have to deal with when there was no pandemic? Um, the challenges are mostly related to people's learning how to use their technology, their computers, and dealing with the reliability of the internet and other factors that could cause at any given point in the middle of a meeting or in the middle of a broadcast, and when I say a broadcast, I mean from one to many or from few to many. So in the context of a corporate organization, they are oftentimes that the top management needs to speak to the large amount of employees so we have audiences of 3,000, 5,000, 6,000 that are spoken to by two or three different people, the CEO of the company, the president, a couple of executive vice presidents. And the challenge is what happens in the middle of a broadcast of that sort when one of them loses their internet connection something that we would have never ever had impacting a meeting or a broadcast. Now, at any given point, the CEO could have a problem with the microphone on their computer or the internet in their home. And all of a sudden, in the middle of a planned communication, a planned meeting, they're not able to conduct the meeting. So, We've done a lot of scenarios with backups, backup technology, and backup people. In the middle of our planning, right before any meeting, we often discuss what happens if you lose a connection, Joe? Can Tom take over for you? Can Sally take over for you? Can Jane do your presentation? And so in the end, it's about making sure that not only can you do the transmission of the message that you need to, but to have backup available in case there is an outage, something we would have never had happen before.